hey, this is Sensibility Speaks. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This channel discusses trending topics, celebrity news, and reality TV. I know I've been a little quiet, right? Because I don't do lives. Like, I hate lives. Like, I don't even know, you know, what to do on this live. But I was like, let me talk to the people because they have questions and I have answers. So, just wanted to get on. And first and foremost, thank you guys for selling out my edge control. Like, it literally posted and y'all went crazy. Like, you know, thank you for supporting your girl. Meanwhile, let me get me a little bit more wine, you know, since I'm an alcoholic. So, what did you guys think about the show? Tell me, like, what questions, wait, am I pregnant? <laughs> well, you know, they do say that you can drink red wine while you're expecting. I think it's like the full first trimester, right? Am I not, if I'm not mistaken, is it the full first? Maybe, stay tuned and you'll find out if I'm pregnant or not. But, I want to talk to you guys about the season finale. Let me look at some of these questions first. Oh, and I actually wanna go live with some of you guys. So, oh, the comments are going so quickly. Um, I, I feel like nobody on the show really likes each other. Mm, there's a lot of the girls on the show that do you know, do like each other. They just don't like me, but, you know, that's another situation. I don't care. The girls hate on you all the time. Hey, girl. Hey, hon. Uh, why wasn't it advertised as the season finale? It's not the season finale. It's the mid-season finale. So, we go on break for about um, a month or so, and then we come back, and the remainder of the episodes will air. Oh, wait. The video is paused. Oh, thank you. I'm excited about my new project as well. So I'm going to be featured in 120 beauty supply stores across the nation. And I've been working on this. If some of you guys remember, if you're a true Bell Collective fans, then since season one. So just getting this opportunity, like, it was, it was amazing. Like, I mean, I couldn't ask for anything greater. You know, I'm so blessed. I can't even lie. Like, I have the edge control. My edge control, it went viral maybe about two years ago. And, you know, everybody wanted it. So, this opportunity presented itself. And it was like, hey, you know, this is God's work. Like, I'm, I'm led by God. So, you know, I feel like it was definitely a great choice. Hey, y'all. Thank you. I feel like they hate. Okay. We get that. The girls, you know, whoever feels a type of way feels a type of way. I can't control how the next person feel about me. Only thing I can be is just true to myself and authentic. And, you know, if they can't take it or whoever can't take it, then that's on them. Why is, is the video paused? My Wi-Fi be, oh, let me take them lashes off, honey. In the eyes? What is this? Okay, there we go. Is it still paused? Loving your sister's bond. Is the video still paused? I can't really tell. How you feel about the show showing the marks on your arm? Girl, I don't care about them showing marks on my arm. <laughs> what does that mean? What 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 does the marks mean? Um, no, you're good. I'm good. I feel like you're such an inspiration. I love how humble you remain. <laughs> uh, hey, hey. Yeah, I don't have on any makeup, so I had to throw a little filter on here. Like, it was a must. Is Selena coming on as a, I don't know. You have to ask Carlos if Selena's coming on. 
any more Selena this season. I love, love, love Selena. She is one of the most sweetest, most genuine people that I know. Like, she doesn't have a malicious bone in her body. Like, just anybody that you ask about her, they'll have the same. Like, just non-confrontational, sweet, genuine. Hey, y'all. Hey. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Okay, so what questions do you guys have for me tonight? Let's talk about it. I would, I would love to meet you, too. I'm actually doing a, um, a dinner. It's like a, a business dinner where I want to literally sit down with um, up-and-coming entrepreneurs and just talk about them to discuss, like, you know, what steps they need to take and just, you know, kind of guide them. Like, I have a mentorship program, but I've been so busy, so I've been neglecting it. And, you know, I just want to come back around and, you know, give the girls a little advice. All right, so who wants to go live? I'm going to take a few more questions, and then I'm going to let somebody go live with me. Uh, where is Cliff? Girl, he is outside. Let him stay outside. Let's talk about your new business and being an entrepreneur. Hey, hey. Now, you know I can talk about my business all day long. So, first things first. Um, I purchased the building, right, which we all, we've all we been talking about the entire season. It took a while for the renovations. Like, a lot of things I had to bump my head on because I felt like, you know, this is my business venture, so let me do it myself, and I didn't want any help especially from my husband, because I wanted to do it on my own. Y'all my damn stepkids here. Hold on. Y'all. Yeah. Hey, girl. Hey, mama. He, he's outside in the bed. Y'all tell my stepson, hey. <laughs> hey, honey. Okay. So, are you going to see to let me do this live? Maybe. We'll see. What you been up to? Y'all, look at my grandbaby. She is so cute. All right. Look, we're going to put some um, Paw Patrol or something on for you. I don't know what these kids like to listen to. Oh, we'll take you out to bed in a second. She is. She just smiling. Okay. So anyways, with the new building that I just purchased, right, um, that's a 4,000 square foot building. So what we're going to do is we're going to do retail at the bottom and we're going to do salon suites or just suites at the top. And it's coming along really good. Like I posted a video on Twitter how the building is 60% complete, right? And it has a lot, a lot, a lot more to go, but we're slowly but surely getting it done. And I want to do the the opening right my birthday is in september i'm a libra so i want to do the opening in september and i'm going to invite you guys out of course hey mama hey mama so i'm going to invite you guys out to the opening and yeah so you can see you know what your girl been putting down now also we purchased me and my husband we purchased a 10,000 square foot building which we're about to open up a restaurant and I'm super excited about that. You can grab a bag. <laughs> yeah, I put the phone down. <laughs> well, put some uh, clothes on. So the people won't see you. Anyway, so purchase a 10,000 square foot building, right? So we're jumping into this new venture, which is a restaurant. And I'm super excited about that. So we start the renovations on that actually tomorrow so hopefully that will be open by january i want to invite you guys out to that as well so everything i do i want you guys to be a part of it which is why i'm also starting a youtube channel and with the youtube channel you get to go through the process of every single thing what you say oh, oh here's my husband right here don't show you the strange thing <laughs> Y'all talking business, y'all. 
Oh, yeah, come grab her. Come on. You want your dad? You feel, I ain't, I'm not paying you any attention. When, when? Angela, get your child. All right. So, anyways, y'all, this is my my kids. They like to play in this little pool right here. I don't know why we decided to do water like outside of our house. Crazy. Okay. Anyways. Kip, get my man name right. Don't, don't be missing. Yes. Okay, so who wants to go live with me? Um, ooh, view requests. Oh, a lot of requests. Let me see. I missed the whole season. I got to catch up. Yes, you definitely have to catch up. It's a lot. All right, let's see. Um, thank you for the support Amanda are you uh, here I, what you doing I well hey, I can see boo. what you doing it's different I see <laughs> you on live you never get on live Listen, I never get on live, but I was like, it's a special occasion. It's the mid-season finale. So let me just see what the people um, are talking about. You know, because every, everybody has an so opinion you, you about You see something. them already at the bottom. So, want to know if... What, you, you know what? It's been going so fast, I can't even um, want, keep They want to know if you're pregnant. Um, I told them they just have to wait okay, and find so. out. See, if I'm pregnant, okay, you'll find out when the baby is drink red wine, so we're not giving too many clues away. <laughs> right. The, the whole okay, so, time so, we can drink red wine. Of course, wine. the hot topic right now on Twitter, of course. You know, oh, I'm, I'm going to I'm, I'm drink it to you, though. But I'm going to make sure you you good. The yeah. hot topic on Twitter is about entrepreneurship. <laughs> and, of course, we only got certain clips. Mm -hmm on the show but you can see the full layout the full video on twitter where you're pretty much saying you know there's nothing wrong with working a nine to five um i worked a nine to five you know but when i got out of school i had this one idea and you know but the main goal is to try to generate wealth and one of the ways of generating wealth is entrepreneurship yes. so elaborate a little bit on that so you can calm the calm the girls down but i feel like you made a great point <laughs> But I feel like right now in this season, no matter what you say, it's going to be, you know, they're going to tear it apart. Yeah. I mean, I can literally sit on this live and say what it is that I've actually said on a panel because, of course, we know mm -hmm. um, clips are edited, right? And I, my sister, she's, she's so supportive. And Lord knows when she saw, mm -hmm. she saw something on Twitter. And she was like, that's not how the brunch went. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she sent it to me. And I was like, girl, don't worry about that. You know, I'm the type that right. and I don't care about clearing shit up. You know, people gonna think what they want to think. And that's just what it is. I know with me, you know, I'm not a malicious person. So anything that I do, I do it from my heart. Hey. Yeah, about to go. Hey, oh. I'm not going to with myself, child. <laughs> Um, I'm not a malicious person and you know, with that, that whole thing, what got me is because I know after the, um, after the brunch, Tisha personally came up to me and was like, oh my God, you did so good. Mm -hmm. Like what you saw okay. was not nearly how it went, but I literally posted the entire, well, I didn't post the entire clip, but I posted snippets of it on my Twitter feed, right? Of how it actually went. But Tisha, per Tisha came up to me and was like, oh my gosh, you did so good. Like what you were saying, what, what the people were thinking. And with me, I'm like, I'm not the type of person that's going to feel like, no, you, you, gotta tell you, can, you know, I'm not that you can do this, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to tell you from my experiences, mm -hmm. you know, from my life, how I reached mm -hmm. to where I am now. You know, I'm not. Yeah, and I think. 
listen, it's not a full five. I think you can me. speak from experience, and I think that because you are a successful business owner, not you're not just on reality TV show, and this is the way you're making your money. That's one of your streams of income, but you started off as a business owner and being a success first. So I think what you mm -hmm. will say, your mm -hmm. opinion, the way you got to your way of wealth is just as valid as anybody else's opinion on how they got to wealth. Um, I feel like us as people, right. you know, as black people, sometimes we need to hear straight, straight to the, to the fact, like you don't have to settle for this if that's not your lane, you know what I mean? But everybody can't walk into entrepreneurship. So we're not saying that no one's looking down on nine to five. Nobody's saying that, you know what I'm saying? But if you do want to move into entrepreneurship, which was one of the main focuses of the brunch, correct? Yes. Yes. And I always tell the story how um, once I graduated, once I graduated college, I was working at Home Depot and I was making probably like eight dollars an hour. And, you know, I'm an HBCU I, graduate to listen. Claflin University. <laughs> yeah, lo love my HBCU. You know, I know I didn't do everything I needed uh, to do um, at Jackson State, which is why, you know, I didn't become a doctor. But at the same time, I worked the nine to five mm -hmm. like majority of my life. My my mom worked the nine to five. My sisters, like my family are nine to five workers, so I would never talk down on a nine to five. But you know, entrepreneurship is my ministry. So if you want to learn about entrepreneurship, then I'm your person. Like I, I can speak and tell you how the nine to five right. didn't work for me and how not to quit your job until you're able because that's what I did. Like I saved the what probably about five hundred dollars, and I I kept my job until I knew my business would be lucrative. What you say, babe? <laughs> my husband's <laughs> going to feed him. <laughs> my people say, "Hey, babe." But yeah, my people. I, I'm I think, alive. I think it's good that you're showing the full side. Okay, so since since look, you know, brought Cliff up. So okay, how do you feel with? them highlighting so much of your relationship on this season um and i feel like i'm just going straight straight out and say i feel like marie has hit, held a, a highlight on your relationship but i would like to know you know where's your husband at you know what i mean like i don't feel like and that's a very i'm not being messy i'm being very valid you can't have a well, boy. That's can't well, where is he at? you know it's like he just dropped out the season and i feel like it's not fair for people to, especially with marriages, to put such a highlight on it and make a whole season about it. But I feel like you guys balance it, it very well. So how do you feel? Baby, you are listen. <laughs> Baby, listen. you asking the questions, honey. Um, for me personally, like when, when you do reality TV, mm -hmm. you want to be transparent, right? And a lot of times, you know, like I always say, the editing is, you know, it magnifies. Okay, so I can say the sky is blue, mm -hmm. right? Or the sky can be blue. And when production get done filming it, honey, it the sky is red. Like, it's a whole nother situation. Like, they, you know, they just magnify mm -hmm. something so because simple it and make it to be a something. Show. Uh, it has to be you know, something yeah. more stretched out. What clips are Yeah, I mean, listen, me and my husband, like, we're <laughs> child he, listen, he I always like to be in my conversation. You are from South Carolina. The show don't, don't keep it interesting. They make us very interesting. People don't watch no boring show. Well, people don't want to watch a boring but show. But they watch it. They're always boring either. <laughs> listen, I'm married as well. No, so, listen, and I'm married to a southern man as well. So I get it. Every man got a problem. They ain't got a problem, man. Yeah. Go ahead and bring Cliff on in. But no, every marriage, I, 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 I feel like All right, go on, I say every that. marriage has its issues. Every marriage has things. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Me and my husband, we, we are. I mean, that's, to me, you know, that's what and how long people do. You are. How long have y'all been married? Let's highlight you know, whatever. That. Okay, so oh, we, we've been right. together about 13 years, right? And we've been married, okay. it's about to be so eight years. So in a 13-year relationship, yes, I think that's a lot of the part that they don't really highlight. 
it's natural for you to go through different transitions in your relationship when you've been together for 13 years. Um, mm -hmm. Now, one thing for sure, you know, whatever you see on camera, you best to believe, like, listen, my husband knows. Off camera or if we you know what I think it goes down. I think a lot of times okay, for instance, like when people see me, they automatically think that I'm the firecracker in our marriage, right? But what they don't realize right. is like right. energy attracts like energy. So if I'm with a certain type of man or a certain type of woman with you, you know, we're gonna balance each each other out you get what i'm saying is if they're strong i'm strong too it's just sometimes some of us are more vocal exactly. out in front some of us are more vocal in the home of course yes. we prefer to be more in the home yes. but you on a tv show and i think <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're missing that so of course because you signed in contract <laughs> you on a tv show you got to let us see a little bit more yes. so i just want to say mm -hmm. hats off to you for just showing what marriage looks like and that it's not always you know walks in the parks and flights and trips and going shopping in, in your beautiful home it's not always that sometimes you are going to go through differences sometimes you're not going to want to talk to them and i feel like on the show you have done a great job at showing that it's i don't have to get on here and fake it with y'all you know and i yeah. yeah and um i just wish you know like a lot a lot of more people would be more transparent because let's face it um and i always say this I literally would not tra trade my marriage, and that's real. Like, I wouldn't trade my marriage for a single person yeah. on my show. Yeah. <laughs> like, without saying so much, that's just what it is, you know? And, hey, if you guys want to put everything you wanna on You want to be the star, you're going to be the star. So be it. So I, I'm a big girl. I can take whatever. So you got a new? Look, whatever you Whatever you say is okay. Okay, yeah. so you got a new restaurant. Yes, we have a new restaurant. And um, Goddess Flint's will be open. Goddess Flint's 2.0 is what we call it. It'll be open. Um, okay. Hopefully by September. But I want to thank you because I want yeah. to take some Let's more um, live. All right. Well, good for talking to me. I'll talk to you soon, Boo. Okay. All right, bye. Okay. Bye, baby. Bye. Child, I don't know how to hang up the live. Okay. So, let's see. But he should respect her. All the show shows he is disrespectful person that she probably won't change because she lives a certain type of lifestyle. Hint, hint. What lifestyle do I live, honey? Because everything that I have, <laughs> listen, we ain't gonna get into that. Are you pregnant? What type of cruise will you, cuisine will your restaurant have? You know what? We're actually still in the beginning stages, which is crazy. If you guys have any recommendations on what you guys like to go to restaurants and eat, then DM me or you can just put it here now. So we're kind of in between. Like he comes up with an item. I comes up come up with an item. So it's kind of like all over the place right now as far as the menu. But um, we have two chefs that's interviewing for us. And they're both great, awesome chefs. And, you know, hopefully by New Year's we'll have it together. Let's see. Okay. Oh, girl, I don't listen to the foolishness. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey what's going hey, on? Hey. Don't do that. Yeah, we have don't even do ours. <laughs> He is the Let me say something. I was watching your live, and I said, "Let me." Uh, I wasn't gonna send a request. I was about to text you, but I said, "Let me send a <laughs> send a request." Because can you pin the a the edge tamer tamer uh tamer in the um type it in, How do you comment it? it, and hold it, and leave it up. Oh, okay. What am I um typing in? <laughs> Stop my it, baby. Right. Stop it. They're gonna be out here. Stop it. Mind your business and turn your edges. <laughs> all of that all of it uh, yes y'all have been going up with this edge control honey and I really hey, do Trey. appreciate it um yeah.
Um, oh, so post it. Okay. Then, so once I see it, there it is. Post yeah. Boom. It. Yeah. Oh. Now, now you ain't busy. Okay. All I got. Okay. Well, all I got two questions because you just finished the whole interview. So I got two questions. Baby, you just gonna announce the restaurant casual like that on this live? I am because we gonna go ahead and get oh, to I'm it. Like, I'm sick of like that. That is a violation of the NDA. Why did you just? <laughs> I didn't know. You I wasn't you about to say it on here. I literally was. I literally was about to call you, but I didn't want to interrupt. I, interrupt the live. No, I want to go ahead and put it out right. there because I mean, even though we're in the beginning stages of it, you. Listen, I can talk right. about mine because we they already just, purchased the building, I'm, money. We got the deed. Call me on guard a little bit. I said, I'm just going to go ahead and announce the, <laughs> announce the. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm not right. about announcing things prematurely, but you know, I already have everything mm -hmm. in place. Like we got the building. Um, we start the renovations tomorrow. We got all the people in place. We interviewing chefs like, you know, so, hey. Okay. It's you know it's coming along nicely. <laughs> go, go, go get Cliff because I need to ask him if he knew this announcement was gonna be made. Because I was over, I was literally yeah, over here. He, he was, was he was damn near my life. Because like, I was like, I saw I was literally over here shaking the bit. This girl that went ahead and and, and told y'all about um, all of this real estate. <laughs> yeah. Wake up in the morning. Hey, yeah, I want to buy a property. Estate. <laughs> that part but um for the people who i guess think that i can't hold my own that i um i'm with my husband for a certain type of lifestyle honey i was living life before my husband and everything that we got i guarantee you is 50 percent hours i could what, what i love it about it. what the last oh, guy said was just that you and cliff have been together so long and so the show is not necessarily highlighting the dynamic of that longevity in the marriage right and so you just got you 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 have to literally be there to just know you know what i mean like you, it's it's like in action mm -hmm. you know what i mean and, and off like that's not that's not the categorization of who you are and who he is and so what I, I think what i love though is just that you know what to respond to and like what not to respond to you know what i mean certain things when it comes to the dynamics of you and cliff child it's not it's not half what people think <laughs> <laughs> but you know what the thing is i don't care because it is. at the end of the day yeah it, it is what it is like i'm not gonna clear anything up people are entitled to think what they want to think i can sit here and say hey um my husband didn't fund my business and they'll sit there and oh he 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 funded her business he, mm -hmm. you know like come on now stupid shit like this but everybody but we're gonna keep that narrative honey my husband sponsors me in every right. way i'm trying to get him to give me this lamborghini truck y'all dm I'm, him and tell him to get his wife that lamborghini I'm truck because he's been mistreating me we root for a lamborghini by september cliff <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody, Real somebody right. put in the comments and said, "Hey, Skip, I was like, why they call me Cliff Skip? Skip, Skip it ain't look. Skip. Get my man name <laughs> right. It's Kip. Skip. Get my man name no, no, right. So how you feel about how you feel about tonight's <laughs> episode? Um, I actually feel. Listen, I feel the same about all the episodes. Um, my thing was with the they turn the light on. My thing is with the um the whole brunch scene, I just didn't care for that because one thing about it, honey, I I knew how it went, and honestly, every time I every time that I said something, you know, people were engaged, they were laughing because it, I was authentic. I hate the way that it was cut up, like I was just cursing like a sailor. You know, I do curse, but it wasn't that bad. And the whole um, I'm tipsy. I don't know where they got that audio from, but it wasn't on stage to where I'm saying, like, I'm tipsy. I don't know. 
they pulled it probably when I was walking through the room and still had the mic sound and was like, we're going to use this. Like told, but however it was. Like, um, when it comes down it, to that, if anybody watching this live can slide in my girl DMs with a liquor sponsorship, please slide in there because we will drink on your dime, okay? Baby, I'm drinking now, honey. <laughs> we, will most, we will most certainly do it. I mean, Baby, I'm... The, uh, <laughs> a good drink. I'm Buy drinking the case anyway, tonight. Might as well have it sponsored. Oh, I show bad by the case, honey. I love me a good old wine. I could drink a glass a day. Uh, look, it's fine. Well, on TV, you did not offend no one. Was, oh, I know I didn't it offend wasn't, no I don't one. Think it was like I always from say, from a capacity you, of like, don't work a nine to five because it's not what you do. We always say, you know, you work the job until the job becomes a job. Period. That's the way that it goes. It's all on. That's the way that it, you know. That's the way we move. Like we don't do the whole back and forth of how people interpret things you know if you if you really were to take the time to sit here and analyze people's interpretation of what they see knowing that there's like a we watch reality tv knowing that there's a long day of filming you know what i mean or long or long clip show ain't nobody around here trying to defend all this shit oh child it's too much to defend baby y'all believe what y'all want to believe um, how do I'm a read? Gonna have some, yeah, a little offensive, but you have a good heart. <laughs> <laughs> Not a little offensive. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean anything by it. My sister has a nine to five, my brother has a nine to five. Like, I can go down the list of people with nine to five, mm -hmm. and they weren't offended at all, right? Because they, right. they know what I mean, they knew what it was. How did Cliff court you? How was your dating stage? Um, me and my husband, we actually met at a bar. <laughs> we met at a bar, and um, he asked for my number. I gave him my number. I think I was, he texted me the next day. I responded maybe like two days later. Um, the relationship actually moved kind of fast. Like, you know, he's the guy that knows what he wants. And when I say fast, it was fast. I had my own place. He had his own place. And I think we moved in with each other probably after, oh, probably after two months of dating. And ever since then, he's been literally. And baby, and, and the man had her coming on a carriage. She came out on a, on a carriage at a wedding. Okay. And <laughs> yes. I, I, as a matter of fact, you know, I, I paid for the whole wedding, he but he the did suggest a carriage. <laughs> but he suggested <laughs> right. and, 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 and in his defense, too, the carriage was a great, <laughs> the great asset to the wedding. <laughs> It was a great asset. It was his. It was his. Okay, friend, I'm gonna get off here so you can talk to your for. your fans, y'all. So let me, babe. This is my friend. Okay, I'm a fan friend, a friend fan. Okay, so let put the shirt on. So he can come talk to me. Mm mm. Lee, that's a, where he at. Let okay, me I'm gonna join him from the other page <laughs> and merge him in here. Yeah, you did it wrong. <laughs> okay, baby. Okay, I literally, oh, so basically I'm going to post details about the dinner um, that I'm putting together for entrepreneurs, right? And I'm going to have a lot of influential people there, like people who are actually making millions, you know, my, my friends know what's up. So I'm going to invite a few of my friends to come and, um, you know, just give advice. Like it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's, it's super intimate to the point where you're actually going to get, you know, you're going to get it. Like when you leave, you're actually going to know what to do from steps A to Z. And that's how I do my mentees. Like it's plenty of, it's plenty of people. Like I'm, I don't feel like I'm in competition with anybody because it's plenty of people that I put on as, as far as like selling hair. Um, I buy a lot of rental homes. I buy a lot of real estate, you know, people come to me about that. Like it's, it's plenty of room for whatever because what's meant for you is what's meant for you, you know. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I haven't been a answering any of the questions, and it's so many. Uh, uh, but who wants to come to the dinner? Like, who all wants to come? Thank you, 
guys so much. Everybody want to know if I'm pregnant or not. Gosh. Maybe, maybe not. Are you guys going to babysit? Okay, so with the dinner, um, like I said, we're going to do it really soon. And I'm going to do like a raffle for probably about five people. I want you guys to come live just absolutely free. And I'm going to make the price reasonable because, you know, we got to pay for dinner and all of that. But um, five people, I'm going to choose just randomly from the raffle. And you guys are going to join me. I can't wait. Well, thanks to all the babysitters. Thanks to all the babysitters. Um, you guys tune in. You'll find out who's pregnant. All right, I think I can take one more live, and I have to jump off because I have to fly to D.C. in the morning. Ashley, if you're still on here, I will see you in the morning, baby. Yeah, we're actually getting ready for a reunion. We fly out um, next week to shoot reunion. Hold on. Who do I want? Let's see. Ooh, it's a lot of people requesting. Baby, I'm just do the first one. Let me see. I'm just do the first person. All right. Uh, where are we going to eat it, ma'am? Text me. Yeah. Hey, hey. Oh, look, I'm going to do the first person. <laughs> Baby, yes, Sam, yes, cousin. Yes, you know I'm a fan, baby. But I was wanted to come on here and ask you, like, how do you feel about So Gucci? About you are from the same hometown. How do you feel about her mad at you because you went over her head to talk to another realtor? Um, I mean, we are from the same hometown, mm -hmm. right? Even you, and it's a lot of stuff that. I I'm going to clear up in reunion, and because we're doing reunion next week, I just yes. don't want to talk about a lot of stuff. And one of the things, I just, <laughs> look, it's, it's not what people said. think at all, which is why I didn't understand why I was yes. grown up that much. But um, just not to say too much, I want to clear that up in reunion. Girl, that, yeah. I got my building. <laughs> it's 60%. Yeah, Honey, so, it's looking good. so, um, like you think that now I want to say this now that was missive. Like Marie went behind Tama Cherie back to talk with someone that she was dating a long time ago. Like you should have came to her about that instead of get mad at her about something that you doesn't know what's going on. Um, I mean, in this situation, um, everybody kind of knew about the that guy with Tambra. She talked about it a lot. It wasn't a secret the type of guy this was, and you know, <laughs> it was just crazy how everything transpired because that's something that I would have never done. Mm. Like I won't even I would have never done it to my worst. But um, um <laughs> you know, again, this some <laughs> girl, you're trying to play. You know how we is, baby, family, man. We get you know. <laughs> you trying to get for the question, huh? But yeah, that was it was crazy and it was a lot. Like Tambra went through yes. a lot with this guy, a whole lot that a lot of people do know. So the fact that, you know, that she did go and talk to him was surprising. Well, I'm not gonna say surprising. Okay, it one more crazy. question, I'm gonna let you go, kids, because I know you say you gotta fly tomorrow. So uh, are you and some of the girls like actually freeing outside of the show or you know? Um, so me and Tamber, we're actually cool. Like I've been knowing her like, ooh, forever. Um, honestly, me and Tamber became cool. Like when I first got into business with Goddess Lance and it was like, what about 10, 11 years ago? So she was one of the only, only ones that I knew. I, I learned of Gucci probably, oh, excuse me, probably about two years ago. And that's when the, um, 
you know, when they needed a another cast and, you know, she used to come into my store oh, yeah. all the time and she used to tag me. So, and I knew that her and JJ were married, how it went. So about two years ago, learned the maid, she do a little cooking. So, you know, we'd be good guys. God. Oh. Oh, okay. Talk to you guys later.